Republican Party is already looking ahead to 2016. And joining us now from Washington, the chairman for the Republican National Committee, Reince Priebus. Reince, congratulations. Good job. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. It was a great night, and our volunteers and staff did a great job, and we're just... Uh, Obviously excited about the outcome and, and uh, you know, it's nice to know that some of the things we're doing is working. So where do you think this goes from here in terms of how the Republicans uh, lead these new faces that we're going to be seeing? Do you think we're going to have a repeat of years past or is a, is a page turning for the party? Well, I think, you know, on the outset a couple of years ago we said we needed a, a more diverse, younger uh, party, uh, a party that's year-round, not a party that shows up once every few years before an election, and and a party that got its act together when it came to our digital and data program. And I think some of that stuff uh, you saw happening last night. And I, I would say where we're at is kind of like when my wife asked me asks me about a project at home and says, "How you doing?" And I said, "Well, you know, I'm 80 percent done, and I've got 80 percent to go." So yeah. that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> well, which is that's actually, you know, that's here. what Robert. Gibbs and I were talking before. Yeah, the honey dealers. Yeah, <laughs> Robert Gibbs and I were talking before, and it's almost like somebody in your position, because you've seen recent history, you can celebrate for about 12 hours, and then you go, oh my gosh, yeah. great, I've run 20 miles of this marathon, but the last couple of miles are straight uphill, because 16, of course, all the Senate races are fought in blue states, or most of them are, and the map expands. So how do you... Uh, make sure that the Republicans don't repeat what happened in 2010, a historic landslide followed by a heartbreaking loss for them, uh, and that we don't see the same thing in 16. Well, I think it's nice to know that a lot of the things that we were doing worked. I mean, so we, we were very confident going into the last uh, several days, at least in the last couple of weeks, because our modeling was good. We knew where these races were at. Um, but what do we have to do? We have to double and triple down on our field operation. We have to double down on our engage engagement in black and Hispanic communities across the country. Uh, we have to be more like what... Robert and his team put together when he had 10 people every 10 blocks everywhere around the country, but they did it for two straight years. And they weren't sitting around and talking about fracking and clean coal all day. They were having pizza parties, <laughs> having bands come in, and they were talking to voters. So, I mean, it's really just the basic stuff drill, that baby, Abraham drill. Lincoln said. Yeah. What's that? I said drill, baby, drill. I love that line because I was saying to Republicans in the middle of 2012 and they were like, like obsessing over the smallest things in the world. I'm like, well, you guys are bitching and moaning at each other and figuring out who the real Republican is. You know what the Democrats are doing? They're knocking on doors. They're making phone calls. They're not, right. I, I love that line, Chuck Todd. Yeah. Uh, instead of talking about fracking and clean coal, right. you know, the Democrats are knocking on doors. Yeah, no. Hey, Ryan, I'm just well, curious. Well, that's right. I mean, yeah. when, when do you, um, as chairman of the party, do you want the 2016 primary race to start now? Do you hope mm. there's a six-month pause? Do you, you want to see, you want to give Republican leaders a chance to govern for the first six months and hope that a bunch of people don't jump in? What's, you're the leader of the party. What would you like to see when it comes to the presidential race of when, you, when it starts, official, you know, sort of unofficial? Well, um, I, I think after the, after the new year, I mean, it's fine if candidates get out of the blocks. And, you know, obviously, I think the... The, the, the race to 2016, I think, is actually good for our party. Uh, but, I, but I think as for 2016, I think it's really important that our leaders in the legislature set forward now real achievable goals that are simple, that we can define for the American people, one, two, three, four, here are the things we're going to do, achievable things, work with the president, get those things done, repeat and repeat and repeat. Because I think, you know, one of the things that hurt us in 2012 that isn't talked about a lot is that we needed to have a legislative agenda that was clear and accomplishments that were going on in Washington as well as the message in the field. So. That's an important piece. Yeah. Ryan Spreebus, enjoy the moment. Congratulations on a job well done. Good to have you.